for this repair, you're going to need obviously your iPhone 3G, a new iPhone 3G glass with digitizer. I recommend getting the digitizer and the glass together. Do not purchase the glass by itself because it's going to be near impossible to separate the, the broken glass uh, from the digitizer. Just purchase the the new glass and digitize it together. The cost of this is going to be around $30 to $40 online. I also recommend buying the adhesive strips. Uh, this is going to enable you to attach the new glass to the bracket. Uh, you're also going to need a, a small suction cup, uh, some paper clips, some tweezers, a small Phillips screwdriver, and a heat gun. Or if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. Let's get started. First, you want to turn off your iPhone. Next, you want to remove the SIM card using a paper clip or the SIM card remover tool. Next, you want to remove the two small screws at the bottom of the iPhone using the small Phillips screwdriver. Next, with the small suction cup, place the suction cup on the glass, pull firmly upward, and it should separate the glass and the bracket from the bottom of the unit. Once you have the screen separated from the bottom, it should still be attached by three cables, labeled 1, 2, and 3. Using a paper clip or your finger, Remove the cables 1 and 2. Number 3, there'll be a tab you'll need to flip up, and then the cable will pull out. Once you have the screen separated, there's going to be six screws that you're going to want to remove. Number 1, two, three, four, and the next two under tape, five and six. To remove the LCD from the bracket, use a paper clip and pry on the sides, hooking the bottom corner that has a circle and pulling out. Don't use a paper clip to pry the screen from the bottom or the top. We should now be ready to remove the broken glass from the bracket. On the inside, there's going to be a black tape that you're going to want to remove using some tweezers. It's going to be around the four edges of the screen. Now we're ready to remove the broken glass. Uh, what you're going to need is a heat gun or a hair dryer uh, if you don't have a heat gun. Uh, the hair dryer will work, but it'll take a little bit longer to heat up the glue, so you'll want to use um, the hair dryer or heat gun and run it around the edges of the glass, basically uh, where the black part is, for about two to three minutes, uh, about five to six minutes if you're going to use a hair dryer. Just run it along the edges here. Heating up the glue that's going to be underneath. What what that'll do is it'll uh, let you pry the glass off easier. Once you're done heating up the glass, it's going to be fairly hot, so you're going to uh, want to be careful. But uh, you should be able to pry the glass from the bracket like a sticker. It should come out real easy. Uh, go ahead and peel off the glass and any broken glass that's remaining uh, by using your finger and 
be careful don't cut yourself uh, you can use a paper clip or just pry it off with your finger Once you have all the old glass removed and the edges cleaned up fairly clean, you want to take the adhesive strips and apply them to the top and the bottom of the plastic bracket. Once you have the adhesive tape stuck on, take the glass. There's going to be some protective film over the glass. Don't remove it, but remove the bottom film and the top film. Then take the adhesive film, remove it from the top and the bottom. exposing the sticky side then take the new glass and digitizer and make sure the cable goes underneath the bracket and then align the glass up with the bracket once you have it aligned top and the bottom just press it down so that the tape can adhere to the glass just press down with your finger that should be enough to hold it in place at this point we should be ready to to put back the LCD in the bracket um, at this point we're going to want to remove the plastic film from the glass reason I keep it on here is so that we don't get any fingerprints on the inside of the glass while we're trying to get the glass to adhere to the plastic bracket. Take the LCD and slide it in place underneath the bracket right here. Make sure the holes align up and press it into place. Once you have the LCD into place, put back the six screws. Once you have the LCD bolted to the bracket, it's time to reassemble the iPhone. Once you have the cables back in, align the top of the screen to the bottom of the unit. Make sure it's flush and press it together. Making sure the holes line up on the bottom where the screws go. Once you have it all lined up and pushed in, put back the screws
if everything went well, you should have a clean working iPhone.